welcome to Full Force Combat. We are coming back after an incredible UFC 300 card. I mean, one of the best cards in recent history, I've got to say. I'm joined today by Dan and Chris. How are you guys? Good, mate. Good. Still coming down from um, Sunday morning, late Sunday morning, early Sunday morning, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and, it's good. And I, I suppose we start we start from the top, but I did say, I, I can't not start with... Max Holloway, Justin Gaethje. I mean, I did say in the in the in the pre preview that this was my main event, yeah. and uh, I mean it delivered. A, what a performance from Max Holloway, and one of the greatest knockouts ever. I, th I think uh, I think Gaethje was 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 dominated. He had his he had success, but he was dominated in them spinning heel kicks, especially the first one where he broke his nose. I think he was lucky to even get to the last second of the last round. Anyway, <laughs> it, it was crazy. It was, I mean. Obviously, Gaethje had success. Like, if you're in, if you're in the octagon with, with Justin Gaethje for 25 minutes, something's going to happen mm. for him. He's he's that good. But it, I mean, that's a re renaissance performance from Max Holloway. It is you know after not not looking bad, but not looking at that top level. He's yeah. just straight away told everyone that he's back at, at that top level now. Absolutely, Chris. Yeah, it's one of them. Like watching the fight, you could see Gaethje was just getting gassed. That's the thing with Gaethje. He's a three round fighter, I think. Yeah, anything past three rounds and. He's lucky not Blows. to get knocked out. Yeah. But then, like you say, like going five rounds with Gaethje, anything could happen. You could just land that one dig and knock someone out. That's it. That's it. I, 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 th I think uh, I think he messed his leg up a bit, didn't he, oh, as well? Yeah. He proper messed it up. It was like uh, Dana said it was looking 3D afterwards, so I can just imagine the size of it. Mm. Kicks, a, unit. Kick, kicks are lethal. So w what's next for them both? Because they... they, they the world's his oyster now. Holloway, where does he go? He, he could go fight in lightweights. He could. Tapori has already said that that's probably is going to be his next fight. Is that is yeah. that is that what do you reckon his odds are? I think that's got to be got to be the fight. I, I don't particularly think there's there's a bigger fight in featherweight than that. I mean, Tapori is Taporia is so good, and it's just like that is going to be the ultimate test. Max Holloway at that level, if he can get to that level, including obviously with. The grappling threat that that is going the other way, and instead of what Gaethje had, it, that is the fight to make. If you can do that in, you can do that anywhere. I was going to say because Tapuria was heavily expected to have a fight in Spain, like a big stadium fight, yeah. but you can probably do that anywhere, anywhere in the world now with with that fight. I mean, Gaethje, it's Justin Gaethje. You know, he's gonna. There, there's still going to be plenty of fights for him at lightweight. I, I don't know who's if who's booked out of everyone. So obviously, we know some fights have come out now, but that there's there's going to be something maybe run it back with Charles. You know, maybe Saruki, and there's, there's still big fights there for him, and, and no one's going to turn down a Justin Gaethje fight. Absolutely, absolutely. Co-main event. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was it was what what we expected. I mean, Wei Zhang is is a level above, isn't she? I mean, is she? Do you say now she she's one of the greatest women fighters of all time, maybe the best? Um, she's she's without a shadow of a doubt, pound for pound, the best in the world right now, without a shadow of a doubt. Shouldn't, shouldn't have gone to the final round. No, yeah, yeah definitely. It just went, it just went, didn't it? it just... Yeah, but it's like it when, when she got that, when she got that choke on Jan or however you say your name, she was knocked out. Yeah, she was out. Then last sense that she was knocked out, and then the bell rang, and she got up, and she was like, "Where the camera?" <laughs> like the ref should have stopped it. <laughs> it was a crazy yeah. fight. It was a crazy fight. But, but but where does where does Zhang go now? Mm. Does, does does she just move up a division? Like what what is what is left for her to do in the UFC? I mean, you can I, again. There's probably something to be said of just dominating your division for as long as possible. Mm. I mean, the, the flyweight there is you know good fights there. She she looks someone that would be able to go up there. She's absolutely her arms are crazy. Like she's super strong, so there'd be no issue there. But I I, I don't really know to be honest. It I suppose you're sort of maybe. Probably is flyweight if you're looking for the next big fight. Else, it is just going to be strawweight, strawweight domination, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, I'd like to see her at flyweight though. It's, there's, there's not much difference in in weight wise, is there? You know, less than t less than ten pounds. So, something different as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah. You know, sort of got like the quite a cycle of people at, at strawweight. You know. Yeah, but what is I can't think of any major threats at flyweight. No. For no one that stands um, up and thinks, yeah, you're going to give her a serious run for her money. You know? I suppose it would be maybe maybe someone like Suarez, you know, oh, the, those people that have really strong grappling that are heavier. So it, it changes the, you know, it, it can make a big difference. Obviously, I know it's only £10, but sometimes, you know, it, it's not £10 on, on the fight night. 
you know they get they, yeah, they get bigger yeah, yeah. so m- maybe someone like re- really strong Gafflin but it's like yeah I, I I mean she's just so clear I think that it's you put her as favorite in any fight fight she's in well, yeah, absolutely absolutely and then we go to that main event we was talking about before it's the, the coldest one of the coldest moments we had one of the coolest with Holloway and one of the coldest with Pereira I mean he's just got that aura hasn't he he wants to fight a heavyweight now I mean what an unbelievable what an unbelievable knockout for, for Pereira just keeps keeps going yeah he said he said he wants to fight in Brazil in three weeks <laughs> that, that'd be he's, insane. he's like a Jorah cell buddy yeah. isn't he <laughs> well, it's like you were saying Dan isn't it he might as well just carry on his camp yeah because he's skin, he's not got a scratch on him he didn't do anything more than a few minutes you know just I don't, carry on now I don't even think he sweated I don't, no, I don't think he broke a sweat either it was like you said Nathan it was ice cold um, and I think me and you were saying in the preview he's a star man and he's got that he's got that star power and that is just going to elevate him even higher now and props to Jamal as well. He had a broken toe yeah. and he said, I weren't were going to throw this opportunity away over a broken fucking pinker. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. And do you let Pereira fight a heavyweight at, at, 300, at the Brazil event? Do you, do you just let him do it? It doesn't have to be Aspinall. Just just chuck him in, let him have a go. Because he'll um, probably win. I mean, realistically. Yeah, realistically, yeah. yeah. Um, I, think, I think getting used to the weight, yeah. But there's ki- there's killers in every division, but that heavyweight oh, yeah. division, it's a different kettle of fish altogether. Yeah, there's think. the greatest of all time in there. There's the best up and coming heavyweight and the fastest heavyweight that we've probably ever seen. And Pereira is not going to want to go in with an out someone that's not ranked. You know, he's going to mm-hmm. want he's going to want a big fish straight away. And is Dana one going to going to want to do that? He already said Dana, didn't he, in the in the post fight press conference that he'd rather. Stay it for him at light heavyweight. Dominate the light you've just referred to with Zhang. Dominate for a little bit, you know. And yeah. to be fair, have we seen. We may as well touch on it now. Have we seen his next contender? I mean, you've got a man that loves knocking people out, and a man that it just seems impossible for him to be knocked out. In Yuri Prohachka, is that the next fight at light heavyweight? Ooh, you, you'd think so, wouldn't you? You'd, you'd, it, it's the first fight that comes to your head. I mean, yeah, I'd like to see it. I would really would like to see it. I'd love to see him fight Derek Lewis. <laughs> there we go. There's the heavyweight fight. That's a big, that's a big one, yeah. Just because yeah. they, they, Lewis ain't going to take him down, is he? And that's perfect for Pereira. Oh, to a that's that would be a good one. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Now we're... the names are coming to us. <laughs> 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 Matchmaking abilities here, lads. Ask him though, in heavyweight, you could match anyone to anyone, and it'd always yeah. be a good fight. Yeah, absolutely. Just absolutely. Full of warriors in the heavyweight division. Like, that's what I mean. Is, as long as they're not a grappler. I yeah, think. <laughs> yeah. Curtis blades or any, anything like that, but just yeah, throw him in with someone that's going to stand with him, and there's every chance. I know Lewis probably about fifty pounds heavier than that guy, but it's Alex and Pereira. He's it's mad to say. It's mad to say that not grappling as well, because you think of Brazilians and martial artists, you think of jujitsu. Yeah. But when you look at Pereira, you just think, fucking animal. He's got that death touch in his knuckles, hasn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. a killer. It's un- unbelievable. I mean, he is, he is the, the star man. He, he, he's so, r- risen just so crazy to be one of the biggest stars in the sport, which, to be honest, I don't think many people were expecting after that. I think in his first fight in the UFC, he's almost got like a, not fluky, but one of those where he got taken down for a while and then he got, I think Great it was Nicolaitis or something, and then he got that that knee and everyone's like, oh, I'm not sure about this guy. And now it's just, he's he's unbelievable. He's, he's a two-way, he's been a two-way champion and He's the guy. He's for me one of the biggest stars already. But what, what were you saying before with Pereira? He's what he's only had 12 MMA fights. Yeah, was it 11, 12 MMA yeah. fights? Yeah, and he's, and he's at the stage now where he's world's his oyster. Absolutely, absolutely. Like and we go, we go, we'll go down the card a, a little bit. Sorry, sorry, Chris. It's all right. I'll go for it. <laughs> keep running through. Keep running uh, through. Yeah, yeah. stop the flood. <laughs> we'll go. We've got Oliveira Sarukian. I mean, this was is this a, a sort of coming out party for, for Armin Sarukian now? He's been sort of teasing this for a while. He's always had close fights, but to, to get a name like that on your resume, you know, in a close fight, but one he did, I think he did win. You know, what yeah, what yeah. I, 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 I think he I think he won it. I think um I think it was close. It was it was close, it was close, but he definitely won it. He definitely, definitely won that. Um and I just think Charles was I don't know. I've seen. I've, obviously, we've seen him not be composed, but we've seen him be. Com- he's, he's nearly fifty fights deep yeah. into his career, you know. And I just think he didn't show what I expected him to show in that fight. It was 
there was mistakes. He was doing stupid things. The head buttons, yeah. you know, it wasn't the like, Oliveira that we're used to seeing, was it? It's like getting getting them chokeholds, and normally you'd expect him to finish in there and there. Yeah, especially the last one yeah. where the, he looked like he was in a good position, but it, you could tell it wasn't tight, and he's sticking his tongue out and everything. It's like he's got it. you're showboating, mate, and you you, you you didn't have the win. You should have knew that he was wasn't yeah. guaranteed the win anyway. You know, what are your thoughts on it, Nathan? Yeah, it is strange because it that's again not you 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 sort of do put him in that sort of crazy bracket because every fight he, he seems to have is mad at, at this especially at this point in his career. But yeah, I, I don't know what it was. It, it was a definitely a different sort of vibe to, to the usual Oliveira mm-hmm. performances. And and for Sarukian, to be fair, it, it you know it work, works well for him. And I think he was asked backstage about the the heavy the um, Makachev fight, which I don't think is the best place to negotiate a, a fight after you've yeah. just had a grueling one. Yeah. But I mean, that's got to be the the move now for him. I mean, he did, you know, he had a close fight with Makachev in, in his past. He did lose, but you know. No. Sounds gone. Nope. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're back. You're go. back. You're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Right, there we go. Sound disruption. What was you saying, Nave? And it's gone again. You've muted. You've I muted. might have run out of charge, so I apologise if this oh, if the audio is going to decline a little bit from here. So, but we, we I, <laughs> we'll talk about Sarukian and, and Makachev because you know what? I mean, that is the next fight. I think after we'll talk about the announcement. But whoever wins mm-hmm. Makachev Poirier, we could probably make our predictions now. But that is he is next up, isn't he? Absolutely, he's just beat number one, aren't he? So he is number one now. He, you, you beat number one, you become number one, I suppose. Yeah, that's the way it works. Oh. And, and sort of looking down the rest of the card, is there anything you guys want to highlight? Anything that stood out for you? Um, <laughs> the, the the side notes, I sent it to you on, on the mm-hmm. evening, the side <laughs> notes for Jim Miller, Bobby Green. <laughs> it's like things that Jim Miller should do. Be Jim Miller, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking love that. And like you said, he was and it was working in the first round. Yeah. Bobby, Bobby just fucking battered him. And it was a batterer in the end. It was, it was, it was an assault that. I think he sort of showed levels, didn't he? Because mm-hmm. but at the minute, Bobby Green sort of trend, obviously maybe pr- five years, ten years pr- previous, but Bobby Green at this point, he's just a, a higher level. But Jim Miller's, you know, he, there's no sort of nothing to be lost from that fight because he can easily go and fight. And beat the you know some of these contender series guys, some of these entry guys, and you know, and then carry on going. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's not gonna that won't make any difference to Jim Miller's reputation or his legacy. No. You know, um, but for Bobby Green, call him Paddy out straight away. You snake, you this, you that. Let's fight. I'll come to your backyard. Manchester's all but confirmed right now. Is that mm. is that a, is that a fight that uh, that whets your appetite, Nathan? Uh, it's it's a it's a great fight. I think it, it probably is the right fight for for Paddy Pimlet. You know, it's it's that guy that's sort of that's coming into the rankings. You know, it's that is a good a re- and Bobby Green's really good, and mm-hmm. and that is the litmus test. You know, he had a close fight with Fisiev. You know, these are really good guys that Bobby Green has fought, and that is because pa- a lot of probably the biggest doubts about Paddy is can he do it at that rank level? Mm-hmm. You fight a guy like Bobby Green, you beat him. You know, if you can finish him as well. I mean, you're looking at that's when you finally can say, "Look, I'm here now." You know, I'm I'm not just a character. I'm here to to really fight and and really and get to the top. And and so yeah, I think that's a great fight, and it and it's one that is a real litmus test for that for that ranking space. I think if, if I think if Paddy could beat it, I think if Paddy could beat him, that'd be a great statement. But if he yeah. could finish him, yeah. that'd be a, that'd be huge for Paddy. It would yeah. be fucking massive because he's he's, he's like the next. Boy, in uh, for yeah. the for the UK scene, he's a massive ticket seller. He's popular. He's he's better than my Mike character in most people's eyes. But I like Padder. I've always liked Padder. I've always got time for Padder. Think, think, think he's a great lad. Who doesn't like Padder? <laughs> if you don't like Padder, you're an idiot. I, I, I agree. I agree. Well, Bobby Green doesn't like yeah, him. And that's what's making the fight. So well, yeah, I, I don't want to call Bobby Green an idiot. <laughs> 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 but no, like but... Said, if you could finish him, that'll just hmm. make. It'd be massive. That. That'll make it, that'll, that'll make everyone believe that Paddy is a superstar. Is, is yeah the one. Yeah, absolutely. Like none of this showboating type and just scraping through with his teeth. Absolutely. I'll fight in the nobodies. 
to our time he fights for somebody yeah i think the tony ferguson fight mm. it did it's a good name for him yeah but for and him. he was a year out and he, and he and he fought well he didn't stop him or take him out but is bobby green is he is he ready for a bobby green on off the back of both of their last performances mm. paddy's with tony and yeah. bobby with jim but we can't tell i don't think but, but but going but then both going in to fight each other i don't think we can take too much from paddy's performance against tony and bobby's against jim i think he was ex done what he ex was expected to do oh, bar, yeah. bar stop them oh, you yeah. know like you said it's just obviously we don't know what's going to happen it's all about the camps you do and what you're that, for. that's that's a it's big factor as well and obviously paddy can get back down to weight yeah absolutely which obviously we all know we can yeah the poor bastard looks at a chocolate cake and puts on a stone mm. just by looking at a cake <laughs> gets rid gets rid of it he does he does fair, he play, does. fair play to the guy he does live the life he gets a lot of stick for the way he looks out of camp yeah. paddy but he lives the life he's yeah he's, he's great he is he's great he, he lives to be happy yeah he's got a good family life yeah. he's living the dream anyway enough enough on paddy <laughs> let's talk about the announcements or oh, do you want to touch mm. on anything more on the card or should we just go straight into the announcement? no i think the announcements is where it's at yeah let's let's talk yeah, about I'm them i'm itching i wonder which one we'll talk about first Ooh. i mean <laughs> we'll start we'll start with the, the expected one we spoke about the fact that ufc had possibly fumbled a bit of 300 by not mm. having this fight but then but it's finally announced now hopefully it will go ahead no pullouts or anything chandler versus mcgregor what can I mean? What do you expect from this fight? I don't know. I think, I think McGregor obviously is saying, "Oh, it's going to be the greatest comeback of all time." And if he wins, and if he wins in great style, then it probably will be one of the better. Not I won't say it's the greatest comeback of all time, but it'll be a good. It will be a good comeback. But, he's, he's... Um, but is he ready? For someone like for, for someone like Chandler to step back in with an, 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 an a bona fide certified animal like Michael Chandler, I personally don't think so. Like you, you always say mm. as well, like like I said, the greatest comeback. Apparently, everyone every the last three of his fights were meant to be the greatest. Me, comeback. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. McGregor likes to talk a lot, doesn't he? Yeah. Like you know? how, how many greatest comebacks can you have before mm. everyone just stops caring about? Yeah, him? yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, who've, you got, who've you got for it, Nathan? I, 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 I'm the same. I can't really see, especially the way you know. Whenever I see McGregor on camera, you know, at these mm. premieres and at this thing, obviously, yeah. I know he'll be he'll be locked in when it comes to fight camp. But mm. I, Chandler's gonna Chandler's, you know, he's a straight American. You know, he's he's like the the Cody Rhodes almost of, of yeah, yeah, MMA. He's an all American top boy, isn't he? It's so you know he's going to be locked in. He's going to be ready, and you know he, he's going to. And he, he, there's a chance he's going to catch McGregor, and, and it you know. So I I do lean Chandler in it, but with Chandler, you never know. He Chandler is capable of losing. You know, the, in some of these big fights, and you know I can't remember. The, there's a name when when he got knocked out by Pitbull. I know Pitbull's mm -hmm. a fantastic fighter, but Pitbull would come up away, and he just not he knocked him out quick. I think if I remember correctly. So that Chandler does have that tendency, possibly you know if he starts a little bit slow. Something could happen, we get, but we it's going to be. And like you said, that was against someone that was coming up from a lower weight as well. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like so there are there are <laughs> elements for him. Sorry, Chris. It's all right. Go for it. <laughs> there are there are elements to this fight. That it could swing either way, and also they've both had so much time out as well. So we you know we don't know who's going to be the fresher, who's going to be the sharper. They're both not getting any younger in in an MMA sense, so. You know how how will it look? It's one of them as well. Like if we get the McGregor that came out against Aldo, then could be a good fight. But he's too big for that now. He's. I, th I think obviously it's two massive names. Yeah, it screams money. Blah blah blah. Are we going? When it's a watered down version, isn't it? Because yeah. the, the way the way past the prime. Connor's last fight, it was a, the, one of the most vicious injuries that you can get. Speaking Chandler's been out of the uh, out of the cage for a while, so I don't think the quality is going to be what everybody expects. You know, I think it's going to be a cage warriors yeah. what type quality fight, and that's no disrespect to cage warriors, but when it's your top of the bill, UFC at International Fight Week, you know, it's one of them as well, isn't it? Like if you're Chandler, would you just go for that leg? He's going to, he's, he's, he's going to he's exploit going the weaknesses. Yeah, just going to go straight for that leg because of how horrific it was when he did it. Mm. 
you can't really recover no. from something like that. No. It's always going to be a niggle. Absolutely. Uh, another, another thing as well with that fight, it's June 29th. And if it's a, if what I'm hearing is right, that it's nailed on for July in Manchester, why would you not try and do that in Manchester? I know that Las Vegas put the money up and blah, 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 blah. And it's International Fight Week, but McGregor, Manchester, the Irish connection, 20,000 people in my, you know? You probably have. Sells Tom, itself, doesn't it? Probably have Tom Aspinall as well. You'd have Aspinall, Paddy, Molly, you know? I think I'd, no. I would, obviously, we're UK fans, we're going to oh, yeah. say that, aren't we? We're going to say, we, we, we're going to say we want everyone, the best fighters in Manchester for one night. But do you think it should have been on Manchester, Nathan? I don't know. I, I, I sort of associate McGregor now with those big like American cards. So with I don't Vegas really cards, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I sort of see that as him now. You know, those, those big, you know, big fight events in the UFC's home sort of home game. You know, their home home city, I guess, of Vegas. That's mm -hmm. where I see him. I think I'd love to see McGregor fight an island one time before mm -hmm. he, he calls it calls it a day because I think that that would be fair. That's sort of where his rise started. So and that's obviously where he's from. It's just about says he had a fight in Ireland. No, Katie Taylor's only ever had two fights in Ireland because yeah. of all the Kinahan stuff and yeah. the government stuff. But now Eddie Earns managed to pull it off twice. There's no reason why the UFC can't do it. It's Dana, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you're just going to have to make the right phone calls. And if, oh, if, yeah. if Connor turned around to Dana and said, I want to fight in fucking Ireland, yeah. I, make I, it I, happen. I will get you that money. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll see Connor signing with Eddie Earn and Matt Ruin and going fighting some bum with ten ounce gloves on. You know. Mm. But we'll, next we'll one, go, next we'll, announcement. Yeah, we'll go to that fight. The guy who who last beat McGregor, Dustin Poirier. He's got another shot at the lightweight championship against. Yeah, Islam. I think he's been. I think he's been given that title shot. That is yeah. the that is the yeah. softest title shot that I've ever seen, especially after what happened in his last fight. He was brutalized. You know. It's sort of last chance saloon for Poirier, you know, everyone probably hoping he doesn't jump that gear. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, 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 will, this will be his, if, obviously, if he loses, this is going to be his last title shot. That's it, done. Yeah, probably, for, then he'll probably end up going one championship or something. Yeah, then I could see him even moving promotions or just just that, just, just being in yeah. good fights. It's Poirier, he's, he's, he's never in a shit fight. I say, that's the thing, that's another name. Like, like you said, when we said at the start, Gaethje, that's mm. a name, mm. Poirier. Mm. Corey is always a name. Do you think that's the fact of why he's been given the title shot with Islam? I mean, possibly, yeah, because yeah, it is it is Dustin Poirier. I think again, I, I, it seems very sort of heavy handed to hope that Sarukin will just say yes straight away, yeah. and then you you have that fight there. It seems just a bit, I don't know, it's just not right really for 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 Armin himself. But that fight will come around. So yeah, I you know you want to get Makachev fighting. Poirier is. Poirier and, and you know the sort of the, if you're MMA romantic in a sense you you think oh if he could just get that that one knockout shot on Makachev and, and win that fight but it does feel quite it. unrealistic and yeah you know, I can't I can't know. see it Makachev, Makachev is a different breed yeah. I was going to say, with the way he fights I don't think Dustin will be able to keep up with him he looks like he was born in the wild and raised by wolves don't he yeah that's the type of character he is the way he moves and punches and kicks it's just it's just another level. I mean, if, if you walked into the room now and you didn't know where he was, you, you'd shit your pants oh, a little yeah. bit, wouldn't you? You know, if you, you walked down an alleyway and see him, you'd run. You'd run. You wouldn't stand there and be like, "Hi, mate." You'd you'd turn, like you'd turn around and leg it the other way. You'd, you'd, it will be coming out of your ass as you're running away. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're all we're, we're we're all on Islam with that, aren't we, lads? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Without. I, I feel I, it could be. I think Islam knockout destruction round two. Yeah, destruction. Oh, he's very, yeah. very, very specific. I like, I like, I like putting my bets out there early. Yeah. <laughs> and the call, call, the call main for that Strickland Coaster. Oh, that's, that's a five round fight as well. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's a that's a fucking yeah you know, make weight. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. weight is the fight? Is is it? At? I, have, I think it'll be middleweight. I, I assume. I, yeah, I, 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 just, I just, I'd assume so. I'm just thinking if if it's going to be a, if they're going to do it a catch weight for Coaster's sake. But Dana's don't roll like I that. Think, does it, you know? yeah. I think. Yeah, I think this might be a sort of contenders sort yeah. of eliminator sort of matchup. Yeah, it? yeah, it's an unofficial eliminator. We'll call it. I was going to say, I think Dana's just fed up with Costa. <laughs> how many times he's missed weight and... yeah it's unprofessional isn't it yeah you don't it, want it is that. unprofessional you, you, don't, you don't want obviously you look at him and you're like he's got to be on summit mm. 
because yeah. it's just built like a brick shit house. Mm. It doesn't look natural one bit, no. does it? No. So what's your prediction for that, Nathan? I, I I struggled to be honest. I struggled to be infused by Strickland fights. I, I I think once you've seen, you know, aside from that Adesanya fight, which was you know a real sort of coming of age performance, really good. I think once you've seen one, you've sort of seen them all. He's going to yeah. jab. He's not going to do too much. Costa probably isn't going to have too much an answer for it. There's always a chance with Costa, but Strickland has a pretty good chin. So yeah. I, you know, I struggled to see anything other than five rounds, um, Strickland decision, and That's then we, you know. We go into the Duplessis or Adesanya fight, and probably, I mean, there is that rematch there. If Adesanya does beat um, Duplessis we're, after that incredible performance of Strickland, probably you know a career-defining one. That that yeah. is there. Yeah. Um, to touching on that Adesanya Duplessis fight, that's another one. Are they just going to fucking keep giving him title shots every time he loses the belt? Yeah. You know, this time they've they've, they've waited for the belt to be passed on once, yeah. and then give it him. But what the fuck's all that about, man? Let the next guys go in. The next guy, I think. I think they want him to Adesanya in a, in an idealistic in a realistic ideal world. They'd want Adesanya to keep the belt because that's the Africa card, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you know, and he's and and he wants to do Africa this year. There is that beef as well with with we were talking about previously. They're not perhaps yeah, yeah. being anything malicious on this card. That Duplessis and Adesanya do not like each other. So, oh, or yeah. at least Adesanya really doesn't like Duplessis. So there is that there where you do have that organic ish, you know, sort of hatred for for each other. And I suppose, I mean, to be fair, if you're doing the Africa card, that should probably be your main event, shouldn't it? Yeah, most, uh, most definitely, yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 I'd, I'd say so. I'd say so. Two Africans, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Two Africans yeah. at the top level. So fighting, we'll have to but... wait on it. We'll have to wait on announcements for that. But that, that it does, it does wet my appetite. It's just the Adesanya situation but you know, that's starting to get on my nerves. Do you not know? think if like Adesanya go up away, test himself? Because he's, he's done anyway. Yeah. Oh, I don't he, tried, he lost. Obviously, he had that loss to Blahovic, didn't he? Yeah. Mm. And then it is Pereira. That's the issue. You've sort of that's. Yeah, yeah that's that's it. And he's already been fucking. He already got laid out of Pereira. But then Alessandro did beat. You know. And then return, return the favor, but yeah. you know. Yeah. But it's one of them. I could see it happening. I, I can see. I can see it. But I think I didn't like Nathan said. If they're going to do the, the main event, the main event, the African main event, oh, that, yeah. that's that's got to be it, surely. Yeah. Yeah, if it's not, you think so. Happen. I think middleweight. The issue is really is that it's not the strongest division. So mm. you've got you have to have like you know big big names. I mean, not no one's particularly moved by a Brendan Allen title fight. Mm. Probably yeah. don't really want to watch Sean Strickland fight again. Like maybe that's just me. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of that. There's a not a lot of big big mm. names. You sort of I associate it with apex boring twenty five minutes. You know. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I, it's tough. So Adesanya is that big name. You know, it might not always be fun, but you know he's really good. So that yeah. you're always going to get a certain quality, and people are going to watch. So it's probably a, a victim, and probably a victim of Rob Whitaker of not winning. You know, against yeah. Duplessis, and then you sort of miss that big name there. So it is sort of plugging in a, a, a big name, and, and realistically, out of all the contenders, who's better than Adesanya? You know, <laughs> so who are you going to put in? Well, uh, um, going up to light heavyweight, I'm not sure. I'd rather, in me, personally, I'd love to see Pereira dominate yeah. at light heavyweight because the amount of times that chat title has changed hands mm. in the last few years is ridiculous, you know? Yeah, there's never been... There's never been a domination no. for a while, you know? It's, it's, a, it's a good division, it's a yeah. good division, but there's not... When you think of the top five, you don't think, oh, yeah, that guy, they're all 50-50 fights. No. You look at yeah, more yeah. and you think, yeah, Alex will beat the lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's a weaker, yeah. It's, it, again, it's yeah. like middleweight, really. It's it's one of the weaker yeah. ones, sort of past the top top few. And to be fair, it was unlucky for Jamal Hill that he had to give up that way, perhaps pretty well. So I, th I think it's pretty clear. It's got to be Yuri versus Pereira, and I'm, I cannot wait to see how that fight turns out because, again, perhaps could just refuses to get knocked out, and Pereira, you know, he he just knocks people out. So that that combination of of someone as mad as Prachko, who's gonna who's gonna take hits as well. Like he's not just gonna yeah. back away. He's gonna take it as he did in the Rakic fight. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it's been great to chat, Nathan. That's been brilliant. Thank you guys. Remember to check us out Instagram. Don't believe we have a Twitter yet, but make sure to check us out on Instagram for sure. Full Force Combat, and we will see you see you in the next one. Thank you guys. Cheers, guys. See you later.